So now you know how to find the dot, and you've practiced two-thirds of the draw, so what's left? Henry Holsters is one of the few holster makers I trust to make a quality appendix carry holster that meets all the requirements of a holster. Check them out at a link in the description. Clearing the cover garment, which needs to be natural and functional. Why do people not want to shoot from, from concealment? It's hard. It's very hard. And in force on force, what do I see a lot of? This will malfunction your gun. This will strip your gun. So then somebody said, make it super robust. Put both hands on, pull it to your chin, drive it back down. And then you get what? Maybe you'll get a better draw, but it's also going to take you probably three times as long to do it as possible. So all I want you to do is have enough movement. Wherever your hands are, you should be able to get to the gun. It doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. Your hands will be in motion. There's no particular stance in fighting. They'll be moving, so you should be able to get to it. Guys that start like this all the time really get upset about this position because they say this is cheating and this is cheating too. Your hand's next to the gun. It's just it's more acceptable. The appendix seems new, so this is really bad and you're grabbing your shirt. I draw from here. I draw from here. I draw from here. I draw with just one hand only. I practice all of it because I live in the world of concealment. If you don't practice with concealment, you're doing yourself a disservice when you carry. I'm not picking on anybody that's not in concealment. Just realize you could practice it without the garment by doing what? The actual motion. Just pretend like you're moving your shirt instead of not doing it. And that'll give you some chance to get ready and get ready to do it. If your holster doesn't conceal particularly well, go see Sarah. She'll, she'll fix you. <laughs> Right? There you go. She'll, she, they got a whole workshop on how to conceal better. You don't have to figure all this stuff out like the rest of us did, and we weren't very good at it. They're really good at it. They got great holsters, and it's not technical specific. You don't have to buy their product. They want you to conceal better. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yep. All right. So here's the thing. If I got an open, the reason I laughed is it's an open garment, and I start from here, this is pretty quick. So if it's open and I can rake it out, that's a pretty quick draw. But if I start with it closed, it's a pretty slow draw. Okay? You need to practice the way you're carrying. If it's on the side, hands down and hands up. If it's in appendix, hands in front and hands up. And what we want to do is practice getting to it. If you go to the base of the shirt, you're going to have problems. Why? Look around. Yeah. So go to your belly button. You know where it is. And when you grab it, make sure your fingers are in a vertical position so when you squeeze it, it uncovers the gun. You don't have to move your elbow much. Just squeeze it and it'll move the gun out of the way, the carmen out of the way, okay? And all we're doing is this. Now, how fast should you be? How fast do you have to be when you get the go signal to get to the gun? How much time is acceptable? Before the end of the five or less. Okay, so no more than a quarter second, okay? All right, hang on one second. Oh, I don't want echo delay. Oh, I thought you meant full drop shot. Nope, just hand on the gun. Okay. Don't anybody draw their gun, please. I know the training star exists with the timer and everybody's going to draw and shoot me. Just don't touch your gun. Okay. That's the right speed. See the difference between the two? A lot of jerk, a lot of tension. Okay. Now, is the hands up a little slower? Yeah, it's about a tenth to two tenths. That's what I want to see from you. You're not going to draw, but I want you to go. Now, those of you that are very prone to not cheating, you think everything's going to be fair, that starts are always acceptable, you didn't run track, you didn't swim, you didn't have go signals, you've got to realize this, that people that race always have false starts. Because you need to learn what too soon is also, not just too late. What I want to see is you relax, and as soon as you hear the beep, your hand goes to the gun. Because that's where you waste a lot of your time. If you decide to go, get to the gun. Now what's wrong with this methodology? It's a beep. But I don't have a better way to start you right now. Maybe eventually we'll have cool robots that can attack you, and we can go from a motion signal. We can use a laser occasionally too, that works pretty good, but I can't do the whole group on a laser. So we're stuck with a beeper right now. Everybody's gonna be on the line, and nobody's gonna draw the gun. Nobody's gonna draw the gun. The whole drill is race the beeper and be on the gun before it stops ringing. The sooner you get going, the better it's going to be. If you jump it, 
just smile to yourself and recognize that you're truly a superior athlete. No, I mean that you jumped it. All right, when you hear the beep, you're going to move and grab to the gun, but not draw it. Stand by. Okay, some of you had a sandwich on the way to that. Got to be a little quicker. Stand by. Better. You don't have to lift your shoulders up by your ears to go. Stand by. Good. One more time. Stand by. Good. One more time. Stand by. Good. All right, everybody draw and unload your firearm. Draw and unload your firearm. So guys, you have a par time. That means you'll have a first beep. You need to be done before the second beep. I'm not going to tell you how long it is because then you'll decide it's hard or easy. Just realize you only have a certain amount of time. Make the deal that you won't be the last, at least, to make the draw. Your finger's going to prep the trigger. Your sights are going to be on the target, but you will not press the trigger. It's a bad habit to press the trigger on this drill. Sights on the target, finger on the trigger at the end of the draw. All three motions together. Do not, press the Do not press the trigger. All right, stand by. Looks like everybody made it. All right, go back to the holster slowly, carefully, and reluctantly. Same thing again. Stand by. All right, looks like everybody made it. Let's do one more, make sure. Stand by. Beautiful. Back to the holster, please. Hands up when you're done. Good. All right. I'll get one person to tell me what the time was. Okay. And none of the ASP staff is allowed to answer in this iteration. Okay. Because they proved they're fairly good at it, and that's not what I want. Okay. Dan, what was the par time? I mean, two seconds. That's a really good guess, and it's incorrect. Now we move on. Sure. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm just proving to you that you don't tell time particularly well. You need a timer to learn how to do this. The next part will be less than whatever the last one was. The la next one was last. That's not correct either. No. <laughs> no. All right. The next one will be less than the last part time. So what do you need to do? Get to the gun sooner. The draw is administrative. You want to spend time aiming. Don't draw slow and aim quick. The reason I don't want you pressing the trigger is because then you won't go off of what? Seeing. You'll just press because you got done with the draw. An incredibly dangerous habit to fall into because you're no longer getting immediate feedback except for cadence. And then you'll become the missile machine. Okay? So when you draw, prep the trigger and be done before the second beep. Okay? It will be less time than you had before. Can't tell you how much because then you can start drawing some sort of idea. But be done. Get to the gun quick. All right, to the line. Stand by. All right, one of you didn't make it. You know who you are because you decided to do squats in the middle. <laughs> no squat. Squat before. Stand by. Nice. Looks like everybody made it on this side. Let's see this side. Stand by. Good. All right. Let's do one more, make sure you didn't get lucky. Stand by. Perfect. Back to the holster, slowly and reluctantly. When you're doing speed training, slop is allowed because you will never get faster by doing something perfectly. How do you run splint, sprints? As hard as you can and sometimes you fall down and then you learn to run a little bit better. It can only be coached under speed, not under slowness. This is speed and efficiency training, so speed and efficiency. Those of you that have a high level of speed, apply it, and then get rid of things that don't matter. So next time JT says sloppy, I'm going to look for something extra in his movement, because what he's really saying is something's out of place. Something is out of place. That's what it really needs to be. Something's out of place. So he needs to look for it. I need to look for it. we got a little gun tilt going on, so he's trying to do a lot of things at once. What i like him to do is draw the gun and then re look at it in reverse and see if there's anything he can do. Remember, you're getting two draws every time. Draw. Put the gun away is another draw. Get double your training value, okay? Now, Mike, what was that part time? 
Uh, I'm going to say one, two, five. It's a good guess, but you're not correct. Thanks for playing. Okay. You will get less on the next iteration than what I just gave you. Significantly less. You need to be quicker to the gun and you need to be prepared. Can I start teaching you how to perform a little bit? Visualize what you're about to do and then feel either yourself breathing or gripping the gun. You can visualize feeling also. Those of you that hold your breath as you prepare to draw, <coughs> visualize the exhale happening, your body will program it. Words are not particularly good because what does fast mean to you? First word that pops in your mind. Speed. Speed. What's it mean to you? Speed. Fast. One second. All right. yeah, it, speed doesn't mean anything. Though. You're just redefining the word with it. How do you get faster? Show, what's one thing you do to be faster? Efficiency. Go fast. Efficiency. Go. Go. You have to go. All right? But if you pull that letter, does it mean you relax or you tighten up? Some of you means what? Brakes go on. So you're running around with your emergency brake trying to drag race this whole class. For the rest of you that are super fast, what do you do? Turn the brakes off forever and never stop at the stop sign. You've got to have a balance between these two. Efficiency is a big part of it and also gearing yourself to be ready to go. When you step up to that line, be ready. Don't do anything else. Step up and be ready to draw that pistol. You're not going to get any more time, so be ready to do it. And greet the buzzer by reaching for it and listening for it and you'll be a lot better. So give me your all. I know you've been holding back right now. All right, give me your visualization. Make sure your stance is good. Take a nice breath. Stand by. <laughs> finish it anyway, though. Finish it anyway. Even if you don't make it, finish it. I want you reaching. If you don't make the par, finish it. No matter what, finish. I, I need you to reach. Stand by. Nice. Stand by. Get your support hand on just a little earlier. You see how late it was? And then you had the Lena Mikulik grip where you had her on the front. Thank you. Do you know what that means? Lena Mikulik, have you seen her? All right, don't worry about that part. If there's anything you can do before shooting, do it now. Stand by. Almost. You look pretty good. You're reaching right now. Somebody's got it. Stand by. Cool. All right, back to the holster. Back to the holster. Now, if you're an accuracy first shooter, you're going to start doing what during the shooting drill? Trying to shoot more accurately. That's not the way to do these drills. Okay, speed mode means that we re relax the accuracy standard. So please listen to the words I'm about to say. If you hit the silhouette, you win. The whole silhouette, and you're like, but, 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 but. I don't care about that. We're practicing speed and efficiency. There is an accuracy standard, but it has to be relaxed. When you practice an accuracy standard, what do you have to do? Get rid of time. It can't be on a hard time schedule. If it's something like the test, which is 10 rounds in 10 seconds at 10 yards, that's both at the same time, and that's performance mode. Has nothing to do. If it has time and speed together, it's performance mode. You are in speed mode now, so you're drawing as quickly as you can. Okay? Now, will distance matter? Yes, it will. We're going to start close so you can let go. Don't do anything that you feel is unsafe. Okay? And the biggest thing that you could do is not have your support hand on the gun. So several of you, I've come up and said, get your support hand on the gun because it's a safety issue. Not because your hand was in the front, but it could be. And then think about how much more control we'll have with both hands around the gun. I don't want to be finishing here, okay? I'm going to show you the differences between draws so you guys can see it, so that you know what modulation looks like. Coach, before you demo, what should we be doing if we're working speed, but if we're not seeing our dot at the end every time, what should we be doing on those draws? At three yards, do you have to see the dot? No, no. so just go ahead and shoot. So you could frame up the back of the gun. You could do the cowling of the optic. But here's the Zen riddle of the dot. If you stop looking for it and do this efficiently, the dot will be there. Okay. That's Thank really you. hard for the micromanagers and the control freaks. <laughs> Thanks for right? that, Ryan. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Stand by. Now, that was not fast, right? 
What do you think it was, Jay? 125. That is not correct. That was a 157. So that's a 1-5 draw. Not even trying, not hard. Okay? So, 150 not trying. The drill is this. Modulate to the time. Okay? So now I'm going to do a little less than that. You don't have to guess. It's going to be between 125 and 1 second. Okay? Still going to do the same thing, but watch the difference in modulation. There when I was very relaxed and laid back, now I have to do something a little different. See if you can guess what's different in the draw. Okay, I made it. It was a 110. Accuracy nerds, how was the shot? That was super accurate. Super accurate. It didn't make any difference to me because I'm lined up with the target. What did I do differently between a 157 and a 110? I got to my gun faster. That's it. I got to the gun faster. I did start with my hands down, so maybe I get a tenth on that, but that's really it. So how do I get under one second now? I got to go fast. I got to get to the gun even a little bit faster. And it comes from preparation. So watch the difference in preparedness before I do this. Uh, you guys got some sort of motto like that, right? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, let's see if that's true. A little high on that one. Still in the silhouette. Dead. It's an 84, though. It was too fast. Okay, that was a straight 84. Okay, so how did I get to the gun that fast? Prep, here. prep. I got ready and I reached for it. Now, that's well within my modularity. Apparently, it's getting better. I was at 90s all the time. I was a little early on the shot. So, I'm going to do that one once more to see if we can get a 90. There we go. So that's a 97. What was different between the last one and that? You were later getting started. Yeah, I just took a little more time getting started, and I, was, I really let the dot settle. I just saw it so it wasn't high. Now, if I want to get into the 70s, what do I have to do? I have to fail. I'm going to miss occasionally, and I'm going to accept that because I'm pushing as hard as I can. Uh, right now, the 70s I may own about 50% of the time. I can't do it on demand in front of people, but I can certainly try. All right, And I have to be way ahead of the signal to get it. I might even jump it and cheat a little bit. Okay, If I do that, I'll shoot it again. Okay, But let's see if we can get into the 70s and see if you notice the difference. Even that wasn't super fast. It's very laid back speed. That's the kind of speed I've got. It's very lethargic and languid speed. Ernest Langdon's got that too. Yeah, he does. It doesn't look like he's working real hard. Gabe looks like he's electrocuted. So speed-wise, though, sevens, you'll, you, you won't start your shot here? I'll get, I'll get a full extension. I'll get a full extension mostly. I can't say. It's really at the edge of speed. So let's see. All right, here we go. Seventy-nine. Whoo! Oh, Seventy-nine. How was the accuracy? It was good. It's dead center. Yeah. All right. Listen, and I don't do it for applause, guys. It's not to show off. But if you never see that, you don't know it's possible. Yeah. Now let me eliminate all your excuses. I'm 57 years old. <laughs> I'm a pile of broken bones. I got a bunch of injuries, and I've been living on the road for three weeks. So here's what I want from you: a draw that's between two and one and a half. Two seconds and one and a half. I'll be able to measure the high and the low. Nothing else but between two seconds and one and a half seconds. Two and one and a half. All right, stand by. Okay, back to the holster. The fastest draw was a 118. You know who you are. The slowest draw was a 246. Uh, I'm still out of the holster, one second. It's all right, you're not allowed to turn around anyway. <laughs> That was really bad. All right. Let's see if we can modulate this a bit better. Stand by. Good. A 122 to a 202. Ricky Bobby, huh? get it under control. See something more. That one isn't me. I know it's down there somewhere. All right. One more at this speed. Two and one and a half. Stand by. Oh, that was Buck. Buck got a 98. Buck was at that big one on the top right. <laughs> Sorry.
All right, now we're at a 150 to a 1. 150 to a 1. Be ahead of the process. Visualize. Exhale. Remember, it's got to be on the silhouette. <laughs> 110 to 284. Stand by. Hey, that was it. 102 to 135. Well done. Let's stay in the moment here. One more time. Stand by. One nineteen to one fifty-seven. A motionless correction. Stop, stop being mean to your little five-year-old. All right, the best draw you've got. Sooner, the best draw you got. I need you to reach a little bit. If you miss, I don't care as long as it hits the berm. But be on the silhouette if you can. Line up the back of the gun, and it'll be there. Stand by. A ninety-six and a one forty-one. Let's do two more. Stand by. Uh, you're getting a one to a 134. One more. Stand by. Hell yeah. One to a 131. Keep it loaded and go back to the holster. When you're back in, show me your hands. Still working here, still working here. All right, line is clear. Pick up whatever you need to. 